Johnny and Dolly. The team is supported by ableauctions.ca. Closing your business? We can help. Okay, just a reminder about that Duncan Keith photo. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's kind of fun. All the best to Duncan, by the way, retiring after retiring. a fabulous NFL and NHL career. Had that one little cup of tea with the Broncos there. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they say NFL? Uh, all of our guests today sponsored by Besant Motors, and that includes our next guest. As the Lions lose 43-22 to Winnipeg uh, Saturday, they are now 3-1. Uh, and, and one. Julio Caravetta, how are you, sir? I'm good, guys. How are you? Very good, very good. Be good. Before before we get in, into the <laughs> into the uh, Lions, <laughs> I, I wanted to get your take before I forget about the situation in Saskatchewan, Julio. You played in the CFL. You played a whole lot of football. There is a code in football, like there is with hockey and every other yeah. sport. But for people who missed it, Gar Garrett Marino late and low hit on Jeremiah Masoli of uh, the Red Blacks. And Marino's act afterwards was shameful, celebrating uh, wildly. Uh, what punishment do you think he deserves? And as we <laughs> speak, I'm not sure if any punishment has come down. But yeah. wh what did you think of the whole act? And what do you think he deserves from a punishment point of view? Well, you know, I mean, I think, too, to hear Nate Bahar after the game, the receiver for the Ottawa Red Blacks, talk about Marino coming up to them the night before in, uh, in the keg and, you know, talking trash to them. He's like, he wanted, he wanted to fight, yeah. start a fight in the keg. Like, and then all the stuff that was going on on the field as well. You know, he said there was a lot of, you know, almost racist uh, comments on the field. And, um, you know, there's no place for that. And especially... You know, when you when you think about how every single team in this league hinges hinges its hopes on uh, their quarterback, mm -hmm. and in Ottawa there was so much hope. Um, you know, and obviously they got off to a slow start. They had a difficult schedule, um, but to to lose your starting quarterback like that, uh, it, it's it's shameful. And uh, I hope that they come down hard on him. Like it's. He's a repeat offender. It clearly, the play before too, he went after one of those offensive linemen's uh, legs. Um, I, I, I hope they come down on him hard. Uh, there's just no place for it. And again, you mean a, a, an entire city, an entire franchise now is, is going to mm. suffer uh, because if, without Jeremiah Masoli, they're just not going to be the same, right? They're just not the same team. Uh, mm. He's uh, he's such a vital cog to that organization and the team that. Uh, you know, it's you know what happens again to them now. Are they you know they're going to go with a rookie or a second year quarterback, and it's 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 shameful. Yeah, I, I agree, Julio. And uh, Jeremiah Masoli, Masoli, by the way, will be uh, undergoing surgery out ten weeks. It's bone related surgery versus reconstructive yeah. surgery on his knee, so that's actually positive news. So there's a chance he might be able to come back before the end of the season. Julio, how do you explain what happened to the Lions on, on Saturday? Well, you may not just think too. It's just this is a, still a team, you know, trying to figure out how to win, and uh, especially against big teams or big, or, you know, uh, the best team in the league. A um, lot of hype going into this game. Clearly, um, you got a young and upcoming team that you know wanted to make a statement, and the Winnipeg Blue Bombers. Uh, I think when they were when they were underdogs in this game, uh, I think they just. They, they, you know, you kind of, you know, wake the sleeping giant kind of deal. Um, and and in, at this time of the year, you know, I, I think about a loss like that for a team like the Lions. It actually, I think, will help them because it really shows you what they need to do and, and what they need, how they need to improve as a team to be able to compete against them. Um, what I really liked about the the game is that they didn't quit. Yes. Right. You talked about how they got down early. Um, when they scored those touchdowns, and, and, and especially towards the end of the half, I thought, wow, they, they still got a chance here, right? They, they, as, as bad as things have gone, they still have a chance. And I like the fight. Um, but, you I mean, you just can't – against great teams, you just can't turn the ball over. And four turnovers for the Lions, a couple interceptions by Nathan Rourke. And I think, too, the one thing about this, all of this is – um, you know, in fairness to Nathan is that, you know, he's still, he's still a young quarterback. 
who's who's trying to figure things out. And as good as he's being, you know that there's going to be some games like this. And he's he and it's not like he was terrible. Um, you know, he made a couple of bad decisions. Um, one of them that you see a lot of quarterbacks make when that, you know, when Jackson Jeffcoat made that interception, when you get a defensive line that drops in the coverage, you, mm-hmm. you don't, uh, you don't anticipate that as a quarterback sometimes. So he learned a little bit about himself. What I'm going to, what I'm anxious about now guys is, is, is going to be the reaction and what they're going to be like against the Hamilton Tiger. They got a bye week. Mm-hmm. Um, but how this team bounces back is really going to be. Um, a real sign about where this team is. And, you know, I, I fully anticipate that they're going to be, you know, they're going to be upset and angry about their performance. Um, but uh, I look forward to seeing them uh, hit the hit the field again and see what we, see what we got. Julio, the vanilla comment by a Lions player uh, talking about the Blue Bombers. Marcus Sales. Yeah. yeah wh- why? Why? Why would you give the two-time, you know, I, uh, two-time defending Great Cup champs anything, any motivation? You know, I, I, I've, I won't lie. I, I, I read those, I read those lines. Those, uh, you know, I, I, although I hear that Marcus sales feels that, that, that those comments kind of were taken out of context. Too late. Um, I know it is too late. And, and, and honestly, guys, over the last year and, and change that I've gotten to know Marcus, like I was a little surprised about the comments because if you talk to him, he's not like that. Um, but I think it, it teaches everybody a lesson, you know, no matter whether you're a veteran and been around and how they can take a little bit of something and, and you know, all of a sudden you've given a team a bulletin board material. Uh, you know, it's again, it's all part of the process. Um, but I think in the end, a game like this is going to really help to help a young team that's up and coming and, and still, I think, is, is going to be in the mix if they stay healthy. Uh, they're going to be in the mix at the end, um, but it shows them just how far they need to go in order to, to be able to beat the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, who are clearly uh, the class of the league. Julio, just watching uh, Lions Twitter on, on Saturday, I just love the feel and the atmosphere for, before the game. Like, I yeah. haven't seen that in a long time yeah. in Vancouver and at a Lions game, but they seem to be doing some stuff right to get people there and energized uh, before the game, which uh, we, we just did not see for years. Yeah, well, you, you, you have to give, you know, Amar Doman and, and Rick Lalasher and, and the entire – Lions staff down there a ton of credit for what they're doing with the social media um with how they're getting people to the games like honestly guy i got friends now that are going down there they're one of my buddies told me hey, i went down i i got two tickets it was i brought my 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 kid and her friend it, mm-hmm. it was it was 70 bucks you know and, and then you throw in you know yeah you have a couple of drinks and you a couple of, and it wasn't he said he goes i don't think i spent 125 bucks for four people to go out to a mm-hmm. professional event like that um, I loved what they did with the kids, and I don't know if you saw. I'm sure you did with the. Well, I was going to say, Julio, yeah. uh, after yeah. the it wasn't just about before the game; it was after the game as well. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's. Hey, honestly, guys, we all know. To be able to do things in the summertime here in Vancouver, it's difficult yep. to get people inside, because especially we have we had a terrible summer, up to this point. Yeah. But to get them inside, it's 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 sometimes it's difficult. Um, and so, but what I think is what they're doing now is they're laying the foundation. It wasn't all going to come back all of a sudden, but they're laying the foundation so that, you know, as we head into the fall, if this team continues to grow and be as entertaining as they are, that people are going to come. And, and, and we know we've been around the market long enough to know that there are, there are football fans in this market and they will go. And I think, they're just creating it step by step. You know, wasn't going to happen overnight. And I think Amar Doman has said that. He wants to build this thing the right way. He wants to get the kids and the families out there. He's subsidizing subsidizing food costs to get the, the you know, the, mm. to, to make sure that it's an affordable. He gets it. And I think that that is all going to pay off with the fact that this is a, a an exciting team. Right? They're, yeah. they're a good football team. Yeah, they got handed it. They got them. They got it handed to them. By the defending Grey Cup champ, two-time Grey Cup champions, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, but that's all part of the process of as a young team, and you're learning how to win and learning how to do all these things. That I think that it, in the end, it may be one of those losses that you look back on and say, "Hey, this maybe sent them, um, you know, off 
to the races because they really learn something about themselves. Yeah, uh, sorry, Julie. I was talking about after the game when they let the kids on the field, which yeah. we oh, used yes. to all, always do at Empire Stadium, and I think it was one of the reasons I became a big CFL fan. You were going to say something else about what they did. Well, with no, the kids. I, I was. Yeah, I, I thought that was fantastic. That's something that you see around the league, Donnie. At, mm-hmm. Like after games, they allow all the fans to come down on the field and kind of run around with the kids. But that was a great, the great touch. But I was going to talk about. If you saw, uh, the the Lions did a, a, a where they went into one of the elementary schools. Mm-hmm. I'm not 100 percent sure which one, but they got the kids to draw pictures of the players. Nice. And then the players, they they they, they so these these kids drew these pl- the the players' faces, and then they laid them all out on a table, and then the players had to come and pick their picture out that these kids had drawn for them. <laughs> it was it was beautifully done. And um, again, I think it's a perfect example of what this team is doing is, again, understanding they want to get kids. They, yeah, they lost the generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to yeah. get the kids back. And so you got to get the players out there. You got to get the, the kids to know who they are. And they're doing all the right things. And um, as I said, it wasn't going to happen overnight. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's all headed in the right direction, which is very, very encouraging. Nice looking deck behind you, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Is that a Julio hey, hey. special? Like is that. it? Yeah, it's huh? not bad. Looks good. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got, I got no, I got nowhere I can go where you're going to be like, wow, look at that. This is no, as good as it gets. It's fabulous. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll call you up. And by the way, it, it hasn't been a great summer uh, so far. You're absolutely right. But this was predictable because uh, Lisa and I, my wife, bucked up for air conditioning back in February. Wow. So we haven't had to use it yet. So of yeah, course it's going, it's going to be the worst summer ever. Yeah. So, no, Unfortunately. No but all right, enjoy the deck, and the uh, the Thanks, Lions buddy. have another bye week uh, in Hamilton on the uh, Prummy, hosting Hamilton on the twenty fourth. Yes. Thank you, Julio. Thanks. Thanks, appreciate guys. It. Really appreciate it. Have a great day.